Hello everyone, it's GigaBeef here and today we're going to look through the stim changes that we've seen so far in patch 13, with one stim that has been completely transformed by adding the painkiller effect to it. Firstly, BSG have been tweaking various stims across the patch so far, most controversially the Propotol, which originally had its painkiller effect removed. This was a massive deal because many players, myself included, typically used Propotol on their hotbar due to its relative cheapness at around 20k and the fact that it provided both a painkiller effect as well as a heal over time which is incredibly powerful. Adrenaline and the L1 stim that Norm really used anyway, both got the same treatment, leaving Morphine as the only quick painkiller injector remaining. However, after we got to play for a bit with this updated system, BSG have now reverted the painkiller effects on Propotol, Adrenaline and the L1 stims back to the way that they were before, but a new stim got the effect added as well, the Trimadol, which we'll look at in a moment. With the Propotol adjustments, I really didn't mind the change originally and there were many players who agree because Propotol was such a no-brainer go-to stim to have with you at all times, it was even worth losing when you die. Its existence also makes morphine pointless, especially given they are around the same price, but the unfortunate side effect to the original changes was that adrenaline then became pointless. While it has a fast heal, it's very short, only giving 60 HP total and without the painkiller effect is much less useful. In my opinion this could be balanced with simply removing Propotol's painkiller effect or decreasing the time a lot, because then you'd have morphine as the long painkiller, Propotol as the long heal and adrenaline as a bit of both but compromised due to its short active time. This would force players to make a difficult decision, rather than just picking Propotol every raid which is going to be what happens now. So what about Trimadol? This got a painkiller effect added when the others got theirs back, despite not having this originally when the new stims appeared in patch 13. This effectively makes the stim like a longer version of the L1, with painkiller, endurance and strength buffs amongst others, and an enhanced SJ6 at the same time, with plus 3 stamina recovery which is even 50% more than the SJ6. On the downside, it does smash your hydration and energy recovery, but this can be easily countered simply by bringing in some food. Interestingly, outside of this, we don't have any other effects such as tunnel vision or tremors or anything like that, so that makes it really quite powerful. This makes Trimadol a pretty incredible stim, and whether the addition of the painkiller effect was a mistake to be reverted, I guess we will see. So next, go and check out my video on the SJ12 stim, which is surprisingly worth keeping on you to prevent accidental energy and hydration deaths due to its effects. Otherwise, as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons, hit all the buttons if you enjoyed the video, and as always, have fun in your raids.